Hey, what's up? It's Eric. Today, I got my hands on some LifeX Z strips. If you know me, I'm a huge fan of HomeKit enabled devices, more so than say Alexa or Google Assistant. But if I can find a device that works with all three major assistants, then I'm a pig in. You thought I was gonna say the other word, didn't you? Yes, you did. Anyways, once I found out that the uh, LifeX Z strips worked with all three major home assistants, I knew I had to try them out to replace those old LED strips that I currently have in my background. Stick around to the end to see one of the major issues that I do have with these LED strips. Full disclosure, LifeX did send me multiple kits at a substantial discount for this review. I will be leaving affiliate links down below. So if you have questions about pricing, definitely check out those links. And if you do purchase anything, it does help this channel out. So I would truly appreciate it. So jumping into the review, the LED strips are RGB and W, which means there's one LED light that goes for red, green, and blue. And then there's another LED light that produces white. And with all of them together, it can create over 16 million colors. So this is the starter kit, which has two pieces of LED strips. So included in the starter kit is a cleaning cloth or a little alcohol pad, a power supply brick, and the controller pack. If you need additional strips, they do sell more strips. Each strip is one meter long or 3.3 feet for a total of two meters or 6.6 .6 feet. Makes sense, right? In some kits I've seen around do have three ships. I don't think they sell those anymore. They, I think they're like a hundred bucks and it was just too expensive for most people. On the back of the strip is 3M adhesive tape. So you can easily glue this onto where you want to place it. You can connect up to 10 meters of strips or connector cables. You can connect two LED strips together. There's no lights on them. It just gets the power from one side to the other. They do sell out a lot, so if you can find them, definitely pick them out before they sell out. There's two sizes, one meter, 3.3 um, feet, or I think the smaller size is seven centimeters, um, and they're pretty cheap. Just a heads up, one of my pieces, one of my uh, strips, didn't light up blue in one of the zones. Like, it has eight zones, and one of the zones didn't light up blue. It lit up red and green, but not blue for some reason but the LED strips do come with a two year limited warranty. So I contacted them and they were um, sent me out. It did take a couple weeks, which is no big deal. I understand shipping takes forever. So it's always good to have that warranty. As far as the possibilities of where you can put these it is really up to your imagination and what you want your smart home to do. For me, I'm gonna be putting them in my background and um, I'm going to have extra, so I'm going to be putting them around my TV. But I've seen people put them around their desk, their bed, their monitors, under and top of kitchen cabinets, and many other places. As far as installation goes, it was super easy. But I do suggest that you do have a plan. You measure and dry test everything before you stick it down. Airs with longer runs will work better because if you have a lot of short runs like I do in my background shelves, you might run into issues. In my dry testing, I realized I could not cut the strip at a connecting cable subscriber to the back of the bookcase and then up this side. Because once you cut the strip, you're completely done with that strip. If you have to cut it, you can definitely do that. They actually point out where you can cut it. But I gotta warn you, not only do you lose the warranty, but you also lose the connector to the next strip. So once you cut it, you're completely done. So what I actually had to do was drill a hole through each cabinet out the side and up to the next shelf, which was not a huge deal, but it was definitely more work than I expected. So this light that I'm about to turn on is actually one complete long LED strip, which is pretty cool once you see it all. Now, I do wish that LifeX would do what some other manufacturers do, and is that they still give you two meters in the starter kit, but they break it up into three strips rather than two. So you can use it on shorter distances, and you can still add the connecting cable. At the end of the day, it's still the same, but at least I don't have to drill into things that um, need shorter strips. Now I have seen other brands where you can actually cut it, add a little connector at the cutting point and add additional strips. 
So LifeX, if you're listening, I hope in the next generation, you can definitely add a feature like that so you know you can have additional strips very easily and still have that perfect size. But currently, once you cut it, you are done. I do want to point out one of the best features of the LifeX Z strips is that they actually have multiple zones. And what I mean by that is each strip has eight zones and each zone can have its own color where there's other brands out there that only have one zone. So the entire strip all has to be the same color. Now you can rotate that color and be different, but the entire strip is the same color with these strips back here. You can really customize and get creative with the effects and the colors, which I'll show you more in a minute. These strips don't require anything special to connect to your network except for your home's Wi-Fi. It does not need a hub, which thank God, because I don't like hubs. Once you download the app, go ahead and follow the instructions to discover the strips. Don't forget to follow the instructions to set up HomeKit if you want that. Also with the Google Assistant and Alexa, all of which for me went seamless. Now without further ado, let's go ahead and turn these bad boys on and go into the app. You can go from a 9,000 Kelvin, very cool, very bright blue light, all the way down to a very 2,500 Kelvin, very warm, very orangey light and everything in between. Um, here's 4,000, here's 5,000, which is like a soft daylight. And then you can also go to the full color spectrum which you can go up to, on screen, you can go up to 16 million colors. So, you know, if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you guys know I love the color blue, which is, can't get much bluer than this, but actually from what I can see on the screen, this actually looks purple. So I do have to play with it a little bit. I actually have to take it down almost to like a turquoise color. And then if I want to make my scenery, my background, the way that I like it, I actually have to take the intensity down probably to right around 30%. Still a little purplish, so I might change it just a little bit more. Kind of like that. What do you guys think? That's what my normal background looks like, right? So to the naked eye, that's a very light, light blue. But when I'm looking at the screen, it is definitely more of that, that bright blue that I definitely like. So you can definitely do blues. You can go into like a turquoise color. I'm going to turn up intensity just so you guys can see the color much better. Um, so here's turquoise. Here's like a greenish color. I'm watching in the monitor. And then you can get into your yellows. into your orange, into the reds, the pinks, the purples. You can easily change this, you just turn this, the little dial right here, and then back to the blues. So, and everything in between, like I said, you can have up to 16 million colors. And unlike other LED strips out there, you don't have to have the whole strip as one color. Each section can be a different color, which is very cool. There's a bunch of different ways that you can create it. So if we hit create, they have a bunch of themes already created for you. So for instance, here's the love theme. Peaceful. Relaxing. You guys get the gist of this. I might just show one more. Here's one powerful. Very, very cool. And then you can come up with your own colors. So you can do solid colors if you want to. Um, so we can do like, we can fill up the whole thing. We can say red, very cool. Or we can paint to certain sections. So you gotta play around with this a little bit. I kinda know which section is which. So I'm gonna make this blue. I'm just painting exactly where I want. And that just happens to be that second shelf right there. And then I can do a third color. I can actually do as many colors as I want, but I'm just for a demonstration, I'm just doing three colors. Okay, so I got the green at top, 
We've got the blue and then the red on the bottom, which is very, very cool. So you can definitely come up with whatever color combination that you definitely want for your scene. And then you can do different effects. So you can animate the, the theme. You can color cycle the theme. And of course, all this is customizable. You can speed things up. You can change the direction. Um, you can do a bunch of different things. Um, here's Flickr, which you guys might see on screen. I'm not sure. Um, but to the naked eye, it definitely is flickering just a little bit. You can move it. That's cool. I like that one because you can see it actually moving. Then you have the music visualizer, which is very cool. If I had some music playing, you can actually listen to that music and kind of change the colors to the beat of the music, which is very, very cool. Um, here, we're gonna do a music visualizer real quick. And you can see if I scream, whoa! Oh, I gotta turn it on. Whoa! Whoa! That is cool. Do pastels. All right. Random. So it's gonna do random stuff. Um, and you got spooky, which it's not really spooky colors. You can customize the colors and then you can have that blinking effect, which is kind of random. So you can, at Halloween, you can do oranges, blacks, and maybe some whites and really flicker their lights whenever. It's like, it's just surprise, you know, spooky. And then you can also do a strobe and you just hold it down, it gives you a little warning and then you can do a nice little strobe light if you want to. Very, very cool stuff. Lots and lots of features and I definitely love this. There's so many different things that you can do with it. I love that it works with HomeKit. It works with, uh, whoops, don't go off. It works with Google HomeKit. The verb go off is usually oh. defined as to explode, fire. Stop. It works with Google Assistant and the, the features and the benefits of a more expensive kit is definitely worth it. Um, you are paying a premium, but like if you look at other home kit LED strips, you're right in that, that same range. So there's a lot of cheaper ones on, out there on the market, but you're not gonna get the home kit. You're not gonna get the multicolor strips. So the benefit and the, the effects are definitely here in the LifeX Z strip. So if you guys wanna pick these up, I will be leaving affiliate links down below. I hope you will consider using those. And if you're brand new here, I hope you will consider subscribing, press that blue circle. And if you wanna see more home automation or LifeX stuff, there will be playlists right there. So definitely check those out. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys on the next video.